Hi guys, we're outside. It's actually quite windy, so I apologise if it's windy on the microphone. Uh, just want to do a little test. Wilco Cleanup Cellulose Thinners, a special blend of pure solvents, and PLA. I want to see if it dissolves the PLA. So I'm going to cut that to fit in there. Just so I can get it out again easily. And then we'll just put a small layer of cellulose in there, cellulose thinners. This stuff does stink, it's uh, highly flammable as well. So we'll leave that in there. Seal it down. And we'll have a look at it later and see if it actually dissolves PLA. Back again. It's been in there a couple of hours. I think we can see it's gone soft. Some of the colour has washed out. Yeah, it's definitely gone soft. It hasn't dissolved away, but it's softened. Very soft. See how quickly the stuff is evaporating from it. That's going drying out. I'll leave it in there a bit longer, but that's sort of almost rubbery now. I've left this for another day. And it doesn't appear to have dissolved. It's still the same rubbery. See it's turning white as the solvent is evaporating. But yeah, I don't think that's going to suddenly dissolve now. That's as far as it's going to go. Yeah, it's gone soft and flexible. But that's it. So you're not going to dissolve your PLA in cellulose thinners. Hi guys, a little side track here. I was doing an experiment using cellulose thinners to see if it would actually dissolve PLA. And it doesn't, but it does seem to change its structure. It's gone quite soft and flexible. So I had an idea. I've actually lost one of the tops of my controller here. These unscrew and somehow or other I've managed to let one unscrew, fall off and lost it. I'm sorry about the wind noise in the background. So, I've printed a couple of little thumb tops. To go on top of the sticks and I thought if I stick them in there will it make them soft 
so that's what I've been doing. Gosh, that wind blowing around is annoying me now. I hope it's not upsetting the audio too much. I may not have left them in there quite long enough. And they've changed colour, they've gone a paler green. And as you can see they go white when they dry out. I was going to... I don't know, but I will give it a try. Well, it hasn't done what I hoped. I thought it would stay soft, but it's actually gone hard again now. So that didn't work. And I tried it, so I can honestly say I've tried it and it didn't work. Um, and I'm not sure that I like the idea of a, a fat pad on top there anyway. Because I guess the idea of having the little spiky bits is you get very detailed, fine control. Which I'm not used to doing because I tend to use toy grade where it's full up, down, left, right. Whereas hobby grade just supposed to be a little bit more <laughs> sensitive. Anyway, yeah, as I say... Didn't work, didn't stay soft, so waste of time. Right, having wasted my time trying out uh, softening the PLA, we're now a day later and these have gone back to being rock hard anyway, so that idea didn't work. So I've just printed some direct replacements for the tops. One thing I will say was I'd made the holes in them too tight. So when I was doing them up, I was actually turning the shaft in the um, gimbal there. So I had to pull it out and glue it back in place. Because that was, well, it's just these were too tight. And so I was turn, twisting them on and say the actual shaft was turning in the gimbal. So I've uh, loosened them up a bit, put a file up there to increase the diameter, so now it does screw on there easily. So we can put that bit back on. That's your adjustment. You adjust the top to what you want and then you screw that out to hold it in place. That's a lock nut. There we go. Back where we were. Only those I made not quite so sharp as those ones. in green. I printed two of them. 
Right, so there you are. That's my new stick tops, or whatever you want to call them. Slightly less sharp than those ones. But not as... Not like those. Bad idea, but I tried it and failed. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.